Hi everyone and welcome to Community Cooking. I'm Maria Prekicis and I'm really excited to have personal chef, our guest chef of the day, Lydia Hammond with us. Hello. Hi, how are you? I am great. Good, I am good. great. So your setup is gorgeous, lots of color, lots of veggies. Yes. We like that. What are we making? We are making a uh, Korean glass noodle dish. Um, it's called japchae and it's... Japchae. Yes. Japchae? Yes. And it um, is glass noodles with all these vegetables. Oh, I love it's it. It's a vegetarian japchae. Usually okay. they add um, fish cake and fish products to this, but since we're having it along with salmon, oh. I figured vegetarian is the way to go. I love it. Thank you for bringing salmon, one sure. of my favorite, favorite <laughs> foods on the earth. I love it too. So what do we need to do? And of course in the back we have the most gigantic wok you have ever <laughs> seen. So I'm excited to fill that up. Yes. So first things first, we have to get this fish prepared. Okay. We have to marinate it. So it's a one pound salmon. I was going to say, that's about my size. One yeah. piece of salmon for me. And uh, what I'm going to do is pour this uh, marinade. And this marinade is made with um, lime juice, Ooh. chili flakes, grated uh, garlic, grated um, uh, uh, ginger. I was going to guess ginger. Uh, yeah. I'm like, she's going Soy with sauce and, and sesame oil. So what I'm going to do is marinate it. I'm just going to flip it around in this for a little while. So, and it's, you have the skin on it. Do we keep the skin on? Keep the skin on. Okay. I kind of like salmon skin. I think mm -hmm. it's one of my favorite parts of the salmon. Uh, but it does, it um, holds the fish together. And um, nice. it's actually pretty nice. And it has a lot of fat in it mm -hmm. that keeps the, the salmon moist. The moist? Because yes. so many people, my family included, were, we do this all the time. It's, oh, it's not done yet. I go, you can eat sushi. It doesn't have to be overcooked, right. the salmon. And it really does dry out if you Right, it. yeah. So if it's overcooked, it uh, tends to dry out. But keeping the skin on will help that. So we'll set this aside. And you want to keep it face down? Uh, so face down. Okay. I keep flipping it. Another five okay. minutes, I'll flip it. We'll flip it. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's get started on our um, chopping of some of these vegetables Which for the japchae. I love because these are gorgeous. Yeah. But this is not how I chop carrots, so. <laughs> That's how okay. Can we? Okay, so what you want to do is. You, you've peeled the carrot. Yeah, I peeled it, cut the ends off. Okay. Cut it in half, and then what we want to do is make little oh. sheets like. You have to have a steady hand and a really uh, yeah, sharp and knife. a sharp knife. A very sharp knife helps. Okay. Okay, so what we do after they're cut like so. Oh, you stack them up? I stack two. Two. And then just chop down and this is how you get your julienne. Oh, I love it. And easy. And it's easy, yes. We like easy in this kitchen by the way. Yeah. Them. We haven't Easy's that out. We good. Like easy. And then okay, so the scallion. The scallion, which you do you have a knife handy? Oh gosh, no, but Here. I can get, well there you go. You have one handy for Yes, me. chop okay, the off. ends. All right. And I take off a little bit of the green. Okay. And so what we want to do is cut this in half. Okay. Right down the middle? Yep. Oh look, not bad. And then just start cutting little slices. Julian, if you have to go further down with your knife, do so. This one's a little more tricky, I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> But it works, it helps really well using a small knife. I know for me it does. It does, although I almost just gave myself a minute here. <laughs> That's why you are the personal chef. Yeah. And That's I'm okay. Your student. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Mine are kind of Julian. That's okay. Kind of. Yeah. So right. now we'll just put that in there. And now with the mushrooms, these are shiitakes. Oh, yum. I love these. The, These are the one of my favorites. The stems are so little. The stems are really woody, but what I use the stems for, I make uh, mushroom stock with the stems. Oh, really? Yes. What a great idea. And, and it, with all mushroom stems. It almost looks like a, uh, what's the big one that has all the... A portadella? Portabella, yeah. Yeah, with the fur portabella, inside, yeah. As I call it. So grab a couple more. Okay. I can take the stems yeah. off. Take the stems out. Go and we'll, we're oh. going to chop these guys. Okay. Slice them I'll lengthwise. Slice them. Yeah. These are meaty mushrooms. Yes, they're very meaty. Mm. And they're really good. I love these. That's a mild, great flavor. Yes. It's just raw. It really is. I don't think too many people use these. I think they're underutilized, in I, my opinion. I think they are because yeah. I don't use them a lot, but. 
I will now. They're, they're really good. I mean, they're next to your Bellas. They're very meaty mushrooms. Yeah, they are. And yeah. I always like, especially vegetarian dishes, I want something that tastes, meaty. feels like meat. There you go. <laughs> That'll something definitely. The texture. Oh, yeah. This one's a little, little big. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now okay. let's get some of these beautiful little guys. And all you want to really do is cut the bottom of these Look off. At that. These it's little... a whole mushroom colony. Yeah. And just <laughs> chop them down. All right. And then when we get ready to walk them, we'll just put pull them apart. <laughs> you said walk them? I'm like, yes. we're taking a little scroll. Yes. So I had to do it. And then here are the enoki <laughs> mushrooms. Okay. So what you want to do is cut and the end off Look that, and we're just going to use these. We've gone from big, we've graduated yeah. down. The variety of mushrooms out there are. Well, and the there's farmer's a, market is so yeah. great down here. That it's really it's nice. Good. And then the enoki you keep longer. Yeah, and then when we go to walk them, we just shred them up. Again, in the walk. Yeah, <laughs> in the walk. We're going to walk <laughs> them. And if you could hand me the onion, because we need um. some onion. I love white onions, yeah. but I cry when I cut them. So how, what's <laughs> well, an easy I'll tell way? you, the best way for me, I found, to cut an onion, especially if it's a nice, strong onion, is cut it underwater. Or if you're near the faucet when you're slicing, oh, I'm like, turn the underwater? faucet on. Yeah. Really? Because it stops the enzymes from escaping and the gases. Okay, I have never heard yeah. of that. I love it. So if you want. Okay, oh, and I do. I like it. You're putting me to work. Slice the onion. Doesn't matter if it's thick or thin. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like it doesn't matter. That's my yeah. kind of cooking. I mean, in my opinion, I think cooking should be therapeutic. It should release things. I'm like, mine's from therapeutic because I usually have a big glass of wine. Yeah. Well, most people do. Most people but it do. Is. In, in all seriousness, it's great. It should be relaxing. Yes. And sometimes if I, I'm cooking in other people's houses and I say, what should I do? And they want them chopped a certain way. And it's yeah. like, just go with it. It's too, yeah, go with it. And I then if it. you can grab some of the bok choy here. It's, okay, this is my new favorite. I've yes. found it. I've, I guess I could say I've rediscovered it. Yeah, this is good stuff. It, I mean, it's great. It's a good crunchy. You could eat it raw. You could eat it cooked. You could have it in soup. Ooh, Doesn't matter. Soup's good. Yeah, so these we want to slice. Okay, so we cut off the end. Yeah, just cut off the end. Oh, and, and then you slice yeah, that Yeah, just slice way. it. Gotcha. Anyway. Any which way? You yep. are my type of chef. Yeah. Any which way you want. Yep. Well, and we'll you... take a couple more of those and I will slice them because more. what we want to do is add these at the end because these are lightly cooked. These aren't cooked to death. Well, that's something, I guess, in any stir fry, any time you're doing vegetables, you want to gauge. You want to, I'm assuming, do your carrots first because yeah. those are the hardest to exactly. cook down. Your exactly. Your broccoli or cauliflower if you're using that. You're absolutely right. So, but this little bok choy does not yeah. take very long. No, it doesn't. And we'll slice it up nicely. Oh, I love it. I love using veggies that yeah. you don't use a lot, like all the different mushrooms yeah. and the bok choy. It makes it interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the salmon and flip it again. Time to flip. We're and there we All go. All right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I have a, a pot here okay. on the boil. Um, if you could raise What's the fire for the wok. That? Yeah, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my noodles to this. Okay, right well, now. These are great. Glass these, noodles. This Look is a that. great product because especially if there's a lot of people out there that have a wheat allergy or uh, a rice allergy, these mung bean noodles, they're, they're made with mung bean starch, 100% mung bean starch. They don't add rice to it. They don't add flour. So this is a great That's alternative. A great, well, everyone's yeah. wheat-free, gluten-free now. Exactly. So. Uh, so what we'll do is dump them right into the water here. Okay. I'm going to keep my eye on these. Uh, let's I was going to say, I'm them. assuming they don't take too long no, to No, they cook. don't. No, not at all. So what we're going to get started doing here is start walking. Once this wok gets hot and it's almost okay. there, I'm going to add a little oil. All right, we're going to get it hot. I'm yeah. going to steal the salmon and get it in the oven so it cooks. Oh, uh, yes. How's that? That's great. Let me I'm put it on this. I'm the salmon from you. Yeah. And so I'm you gonna, just put it on a plate. or On, on this dish, I'm going to add just a little bit of this. Mm, yeah. Marinade on top of it. Perfect. And then off to the oven we go. That I can take care of while you walk. You're walking. There oh, we go. Ooh, that's going to take a steady hand. Yes. 
All right. Okay. So what goes in the wok besides so, the oil? I've got my oil nicely heated. I'm going to add my carrots first. Okay. Right, onions. Then, onions, all right. Yep. I'll... Woo! And you could I throw think... all the mushrooms in here. Our onions and then our mushrooms. Yeah. And what we'll save for last is the bok choy because okay. that doesn't take very long to cook. So let's. Do you want the skinny mushrooms too? Sure. Just mushrooms. pull them apart. All right. It's teamwork, I tell you. Yes. Ya. Oh, it smells so good, and all the colors mm. are fabulous. And if you notice, I didn't add a lot of fat, maybe a tablespoon. I was going to say, there's not a lot of no. oil in here. You don't really need a lot of oil for this, because these vegetables soon are going to release their moisture. So that's going to help with the cooking. So why add more moisture, exactly. fat, and oil? Yeah. But sometimes you, people add, I think, too much oil, and it gets heavy and greasy. It gets and gloppy and... That's a good one. I like yeah, loppy. These don't take very long, that's for sure. Mm. All right, more that's mushrooms. That's done. Okay, so don't now. take long at all. No, not at all. Just going to leap, swish them right. around for a little bit. Get I'm my still pulling apart mushrooms. thing is ready. I love it. Yeah. All right, okay. I'm going to combine our bok choy over there so it's ready to go in and get the last of yeah. our mushrooms. Yeah. Ooh, it smells so good. Yes, it does. And that wok, I like to do with big woks because the heat distributes. Yeah, I love this wok. Oh, I know. I, I told uh, Lydia before the show, if, if you can't find it afterwards, you know where it is. Yeah. It's in my car <laughs> on my way home. No, that's Yeah, a this great is a great one. thing to use, especially cooking large like this. We're going to put the top on. Okay. Let it take care of itself. Now... I'm going to take these noodles off and drain them. Okay. Now, do you have to rinse? No. You know? There's no need for rinsing. It's not like a spaghetti noodle. Right. Where exactly. I like to rinse those because they get so starchy. Yeah. These don't really have okay. a lot of starch. So we're going to keep these back here. And you put them back in the pan. Yeah. For when I'm ready for them. Okay. Because it's now, when Lydia's ready yeah. for them. Don't you know? <laughs> I like it. Because you want uh, the, it to wait for you, not you wait for it. So. And I think so many people, they, like we said earlier, it should be therapeutic. Don't be rushed. Do yeah. On your time schedule. Yeah, like with that. your glass of wine. <laughs> your glass of wine. <laughs> or soda water, whichever yeah. you want. I see nice. those mushrooms are yeah. just getting so nice. Mm -mm -mm. This is going to be so good. Oh, I love that. I like and if you wanted to add meat, would you do the meat first? Uh, Sure. Okay. Sure. You could use any kind of meat you wanted. You could put scallions in this. And you know what? Let me tell you something. If you were to put, um, like, shrimp or something, you could uh -huh. serve it up without the noodles, just like this, as a main dish. And I'm a noodle gal. Fabulous. Like a little, little starch. And like yeah. you said, those are so good. Yeah, I like it, too. It's really good. Yeah. Oh, I always say, if we could only smell it. Yeah, smell-a-vision. Smell-a-vision is. <laughs> After 3D, it's yeah. going to be a while, but we'll still go smell a vision. Yes. And the wok, you do have to kind of keep constantly... I, yeah, because it tends to be, let me see, I'm going to turn this down just yep. a bit, like so. Perfect. We love gas heat. Yeah. That's the only way to cook. You know, I've gone between both, and electric, weirdly enough, it heats stuff up super fast, but then you can't control it. Yeah. I, taking it off, putting it on. It's a little kooky. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you get, how did you start cooking? Um, chefing? Well, I, I've always cooked ever since I was a little kid, but one of my major jobs when I was a kid, this was after school or in, on my summer vacation, I um, worked for an Italian caterer. Uh, there you go. Who doesn't as know that? As the food? dishwasher. Like, oh, as the dishwasher. <laughs> yes. I and, um, you know, there would be times where they would pull me off dishwashing because they were shorthanded, yeah. and they'd teach me how to make homemade gnocchi, Oh, Pasta I love from that. scratch. Next time we're doing Italian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, so I learned a lot of uh, good things. It was a lot, great experience, a lot of fun too. Oh, how great. And uh, I obviously really loved it. So I, now you do it yeah, I do it for a living now. That's I love wonderful. my job. And All then right. now we're going to add the glass noodles. 
Look at those. Now, do Aren't I need to check on pretty? the salmon? Uh, do yeah, we need to turn it? Do we need to do anything? Sure, let's uh, peep at it and see how it's doing. Oh, I'll let you have a peep so everyone can see. Oh, yeah, it's doing nice. It doesn't take very long. No, it so doesn't. this is after just a few minutes. Yeah. We'll put it so, back in yeah, for a little bit another, longer. Another, I would probably say another seven to eight minutes. Okay. Now I'm gonna swish this around here. Tongs are your friends. Yes, they we are. love, love, love tongs. Now I'm gonna add my uh, marinade or because the sauce. Because all we sauce. have so far is a little bit of oil. Yes, and this is um, a cup of soy sauce. Okay. Um, three tablespoons of brown sugar, or you could use agave syrup. Okay, I use organic. Loves. Yep. Yeah, and um, soy sauce and uh, sesame oil. So I'm going to add this. Yum. Just some of it. Sizzle, sizzle. Yeah, the flavoring agent. I love you know so many colors. It's yeah, appealing. I mean, it smells it's great. It's beautiful. But it's just gorgeous. And you know, you could add whatever vegetable that you like. I think asparagus would be good in this. Oh, I love fresh asparagus yeah. in season. Can't be beat. Broccoli at the end, maybe. I love it. Yeah. And so you use you use just, a bit of sauce. Yes. To marinate to keep it nice and moist. Okay. And then let's get our bok choy now. Time okay, for the bok choy. I forgot all about the bok choy. Yeah. <laughs> I think about this time most people do. I know I've, I'm I've like, forgotten and there isn't it. anyone. I still yeah. forgot about the bok choy. <laughs> I like how you kept um, a lot of the vegetables long. The long yeah. mushrooms, the bok choy, we cut it right. lengthwise instead of chopped. You want to keep things pretty uniform in yep. shape. That's appealing to the eye. Okay. You know, because after all, you really do look at your food while you're eating, you know? <laughs> well, unless you come from unless a big Greek family, there's not oh, a lot yeah. of looking. There's a lot of shoveling. Yeah. But <laughs> that's okay. Latin families are the same. I way. was going to say, any ethnic family, <laughs> yep. we love our food. They love to eat. Okay. Yeah, so now we'll put the top uh, back on, turn this completely off. Okay. Because it keeps it warm. Yes. The walk's and, super hot. Yeah. So. Okay. Oh, it's just I can't wait. My fork is on standby. Yeah. <laughs> yum yum. Okay. So we'll put that on. Oh, hold there. So Clean good. Up right. my little station here a bit so that we can get on this. I hate to tell this. you, but we have a watermelon that yeah. we've not been paying good attention to. We're going to pay attention to it now. <laughs> Let's pay attention to the watermelon. I love that now you get the small ones. Yes. So you don't have to get a huge one. Right. And say drop it down some stairs. Exactly. I've done that before. <laughs> not fun. But how do you choose? I always see people go Okay, that's absolutely right. What you want to listen for is that nice hollow okay. sound. Make sure, squeeze on the sides, make sure it doesn't go in. Okay, I've never heard of that. Yeah, I like because uh, water, any kind of melon that's overripe, you'll feel we'll it right in, in here. Yeah. I love watermelon, but if it's overripe, well, it's not so good. It. Yeah, okay. so, and that's how you would choose a nice. Watermelon. There you go. Or different types of melons okay. require different. Okay, so I'm going to. And again, sharp knives. Yeah, Key. they really do help. Ooh. Look at that watermelon. <laughs> I have to dig in and taste. That's okay. So I'm just mm. going to peel down the sides. Is it sweet? It's, whenever I taste watermelon, it can be 30 below and it's summer. It is That's summer sure. in the kitchen when you eat watermelon. Watermelon mm. is so good. I love it. That's good for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are we doing with the watermelon? <laughs> oh, I, I'm what, like, what are we doing? Okay, with it? so we're gonna I love we're it. peeling it. Yeah. Which I want to get all this off. Peel that like. I usually use my serrated knife for that, but I didn't get it out. I wasn't with thinking. The sharp knife and yeah. a good watermelon. What else do mm. you need, right? I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we're both like. Well, we'll leave that for now. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to make a little syrup to go along with this mm. watermelon. Oh, it's so and what I have place. here is a, my little pan. OK. I'm going to add some honey to it, if you could grab me oh, the honey. honey right there. I can. Thank you, honey. Oh, you're welcome, honey. <laughs> OK. Uh, let's just, I've got clean hands. I was going to say, it's the kitchen. So, you have yeah. to use your hands. Nothing better than my finger, right? Right. Okay, oh, some lime. lime. I think lime and watermelon goes so good together. I love this combination. This reminds me I'm of when be, I was a kid. I believe and trust you. It is that so good. It's a good combination. So refreshing. 
Yeah. Oh, and though you have to get a good yes. squeezer. Not that limes have pits or seeds. This right. one is zero, but lemons, these are yeah. the best. If you want all the juice out of it. Kitchen gadgets are fun yep. to buy too. Fun yes, to they are. Fun to buy. <laughs> Any shopping. That's for sure. So quite a bit of lime. Yes. Okay. You smell that? That yes. smells so good. Okay. Now I'm going to put it on the burner here. Okay. And heat that up. We Perfect. want just a soft heat. All right, soft heat. That's low to us, mere yeah. mortal. <laughs> low heat. Yeah, low heat. Okay, so let me clean my little plate here. Mm. Now, is this there. a seedless? How do yes. They, seedless watermelons. Genius. Well, it. They have a few, but they're yeah. not the big. They're not the black seeds. Or the black seeds. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, it'd be the black seed of the watermelon. Right, exactly. So, just. Slicing it up. Oh, good. And generous slices. Yeah. And then okay. down the center. Easy enough. Oh. And then you just arrange your nice melon. I forgot about the salmon, but it's going to go too because I'm so into the watermelon. <laughs> See, and it's all yeah. in presentation. Great exactly. Great for it. Goes yep. down. And then a little lime zest on the top. Let's see how that's. It's getting there. Okay. The honey is, is, is mixing in slowly but surely. A little lemon zest. Yeah, a little on the watermelon. Because once that syrup gets a little warm mm -hmm. and it hits this, it's going to really give a lot of flavor to the, um, to the syrup. So what I'm going to do, here, okay. chop a few. I'll chop a few. Just on your lead. Whichever, Julianne, <laughs> whatever way you want. I like doing a rough chop. Mm, yeah, rough chop is fine. Chop, rough chop. Yeah. Mm, that freshness. Because I love, I love it. Yeah. Okay. That smells so good. Okay. That should be about ready. Yep. I think it is. Okay. And the salmon's just about done. I just love salmon and watermelon and mm. the noodles with all the veggies. Yeah. And then I'm we'll in just heaven already. I haven't even tasted anything. On top, and then add oh, a little so bit of the syrup. And what's that? Hot syrup on yep. cold watermelon. Yep. People think that. I'm crazy when I do it, but I don't. I'm going to taste this really Have quick. yourself a taste. And do you have to let it cool? No, you no. just because it cools it down. Exactly. The watermelon's cold already. Is that good or what? This is. I'm not going good. or what because that is good. <laughs> oh. uh, people look at me like I have three eyes when I do that. Well, and then they taste it and then they know why I do it. Mm -hmm. It tastes really good, and you could do it on any mm. any fruit, any oh, fruit. And the it tastes really, it's really like good. It's like a party. Mm, so let's yum. check this out here. Okay, and I'm gonna check the salmon. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so yummy. See how this bok choy, it didn't cook, it still keeps this. Just kind of wilted, yeah. and then the ends especially that's, stay crisp, yeah, which is great. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, it's just wilted. It's yum. Okay, that watermelon, seriously. If that's, it's, you know, what we're going for, the salmon, yeah. then that's gonna be out of this world. All right, should so I we'll grab put, the salmon? Uh, yeah. We'll take a peek. We love our salmon. Oh, it's bubbling. Oh, it looks great. Perfect. Perfecto. All Perfecto. right. Perfecto. Look at this. I had nothing to do with it. Mm. Oh, that okay, smells so now, fantastic. Isn't that great? Now, you mm. could use that on any fish. Oh. You're making my size portions. Or is that for everyone? <laughs> <laughs> is that a serving platter or Maria's platter? <laughs> I kind of like it for mine. Just for you. Okay, okay. okay All right, so here, let's, let me scoot this over because yeah. it's still very hot for you. And I'm going to use this fork. You can use that fork. That. Heck yeah. Up. Ooh, oh, that baby's hot. I was going to say, do chefs ever have any feeling in the tips of their fingers anymore? Some of us do. <laughs> Some do. <laughs> Okay, I'll move the hot plate. Okay, there we go. Look, that is absolutely gorgeous. And there's that. Yum. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. All right, I'm tasting. Sounds good. I'm, ta I'm tasting, I'm tasting. All right, a little, I'm digging into the one with the most bok choy. Ooh. Mm. Crunchy. <laughs> oh, the flavors are so good. All right, here we go. Little salmon. Mm. Nice and moist. 
That's like butter. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that, like yeah. butter. Oh my goodness. And then with a little watermelon? Yep. You have healthy, you have flavorful. And it's simple. Simple food that and you simple have, and healthy. And you have Lydia to do it all yeah. for you. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. Love, thank you so oh, much thank for you. coming in. What a great time yeah. and great food. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Maria Prekages for Community Cooking and we'll see you next time. If you would like a copy of the recipe seen on this show, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the Office of Cable and Community Relations, 3350 Civic Center Drive, Suite 200. That's in Torrance, California, 90503. Be sure to note the show number and the date you saw the show. And don't forget, you can find all the fresh ingredients used on today's show at the Farmer's Market. Visit the one here in Torrance at Wilson Park. They're located at 2200 Crenshaw Boulevard. They're open every Tuesday and Saturday from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m., rain or shine. And if you'd like to be a guest on our show, give us a call at 310-618-5762 or email us at communitycooking at torrenceca.gov.